Hey, I'm Dave. We like looking at the Roku TV wireless sound bar. It's a clutter free setup and there's no juggling of remotes, which is good. There's crisp, clear dialogue as well as quiet, loud commercials. Always nice to be able to do that. You can also stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth and there's seamless sync between the video and audio. Note that this is exclusively for Roku TVs. So this is the box. Let's open it up. There it is, all in black. Very nice looking. I don't know if this is, it feels a little soft, but not, not too soft. And there is some grip at the very bottom here. So let's flip it on over. Yeah, that's pretty secure. Now on the other side, this will be where we insert our power cord and the reset button. And that's it, man. It's that simple to set this on up. I've got the Roku Smart Sound Bar. And then this is the Roku TV Wireless Sound Bar. So as we can see, they're about the same length, very different shape, much more rectangular. This one has those curves as well as this one is very soft. Uh, this one's not so much. And then of course the backside is very different. This one has a lot more. You've got the optical, USB, HDMI, reset button, and power. So part of the reason for all of that is because it's not syncing on up wirelessly to our TV, and that's a big difference with this guy. This used to be your Roku TV OS, your operating system, and your audio in there. This is just your audio experience. You still need a Roku TV for the operating system portion. Okay, so it does include all these different devices. Make sure you pay attention. So it does have the wall bracket. That was included with our power cord. So this is the wall bracket. That's what it looks like. In order to put this on the wall, we basically uh, put it in this direction. We're gonna use our wall anchor, put that in the wall first, and then we'll use the screw to tighten right through that hole. And then we'll use these black screws next on top of all of that. So here's what it looks like. Slide that into place. It does come with the wall mount template. So use this to place it wherever it is that you want. So we're just gonna slide this power cord in there and plug it in. Now that we've got the Roku TV wireless sound bar plugged in, we're gonna turn on our Roku TV. We're gonna go to settings and we're going to go to remotes and devices. We're gonna select speakers and we're gonna add a new audio device specifically the wireless soundbar. Click on continue. And so it's searching for the wireless soundbar and now it's updating the soundbar. All right. Yep, we hear the audio playing from the soundbar. So we're gonna click on yes. And there is the fast TV start is turned on. And so this allows you to listen to music and quickly start your TV from standby. You can wake your TV with a voice remote or a Roku mobile app. So we're gonna click on continue, click on all done. Well, that sounded really good to me. Let's compare that to the Roku Smart Sound Bar. That sounded really similar between the two speakers. I'm not really sure which one sounds better to me, but there is one setting that I did notice that is not here on the Roku TV wireless soundbar that is on the smart soundbar. So let me show you. Under sound settings, 
I'm seeing this one called virtual surround, okay? So that is not included for some reason down over here. When I go to sound settings, there is no virtual surround. Where is it? Don't know. But there is a way around that, I suppose, which is get those Roku TV wireless speakers. So let me go ahead and set these on up. They'll be behind me. And then we also have the Roku subwoofer that we can add as well. They're so simple because they're all wireless, just like this sound bar. You just plug them into an outlet, connect them to your TV, and you're good to go. I've plugged in my audio devices. We're going to go to speakers. Wireless soundbar. No, we're going to add new audio devices. So we've got the subwoofer here. Here's another interesting thing is I'm only able to select subwoofer and add that. I cannot add wireless speakers. I can either have the wireless speaker set on up or a wireless soundbar, but not both. Maybe that's going to be a software update or maybe it's just not ever going to be available. Now I'm able to have all of these devices connected via the Roku Smart Soundbar. I went to the Roku website to confirm this. It looks like you can have the Roku TV wireless soundbar with the wireless speakers if you have the Roku Plus series TV. And since what I've been checking on out is the Roku Select series 24 inch, that explains why the option is not available. So for now, we're still gonna set up the subwoofer. The device is powered on. Using the Roku remote, press the home button for well. five seconds. Then... I didn't hear too much coming out of the subwoofer. I've heard it before, but... There was bass because I put my foot on up to it and it was rumbling. So it just kind of added a little ambient bass. I hope you heard right there how uh, quiet that TV is in comparison to the Roku TV wireless soundbar. That being said, it sounds good. It just doesn't have that dynamic range. Remember DVDs? Yeah, it's been a while. All right, so I've plugged this guy on in via HDMI to the HDMI port over here, HDMI 1, which is also the ARC input. So we're gonna see if it plays audio out of the Roku TV wireless soundbar. There it is. It works. Hey, that's pretty nice. Looks good to me. So I'm really happy about that because we wanted, obviously, our audio to be coming out of there. Didn't have to do a lot of work, did I? Now I've moved the DVD input from HDMI 1 to HDMI 3. So we're gonna see what happens. Smack a like for DVD menus. They're so fun. So it looks like it works with the HDMI inputs. Hopefully it does the same for your coax, your satellite or cable TV, as well as your composite. I don't have those devices to test. With the Roku TV wireless soundbar, we're gonna try and connect now to my on Roku TV. So let's click on that. We're gonna select the wireless soundbar. I also have the subwoofer plugged on in too. Might as well connect both at the same time. And there you have it. So it does play audio out of my soundbar and subwoofer. And it looks like it's playing out of my DVD player now connected to HDMI 2. It does seem as if, you know, my older smart soundbar still has that upper hand because it allows for true wireless surround sound with any TV, right? Because that is the Roku TV OS built on inside. This Roku TV wireless soundbar only works with Roku TVs. Many of you out there might not even want surround sound, which is totally understandable too. It's not perfect for every environment. So just go ahead and pick this on up if you have a Roku TV. It's totally gonna be perfect for you. If you have any questions, use that comment section below and you can talk to me and ask me a question about this. 
as well as subscribe to my channel if you uh, enjoyed this video to help support me. And check out all the other Roku videos that I've done in the past right now.